Now let's discuss about the position vectors. To understand position vector, uh, it is better to understand by the graph or by picture. Let's say it's a fixed point. Let's say this is O, or you may say this as an origin. All right. Let's say this is origin. Okay. This is our x-axis, and this is our y-axis. Okay. And I have a point. Let's say point P. Okay. And the coordinate of the point P. Let's say it is two comma three. All right. And when I'm connecting the point O and P. Okay. Let me connect this two point. So I connected this point O and P, and I am giving direction from O to P. So here now, if O to P is a vector O P, let's say this is vector R, then that time this vector R is called position vector. All right, this is representing a position vector, and if you want to represent this, then uh, then you need to move uh, like this, like two i means i representing towards the x axis you need to move two unit towards x axis then you need to move three unit towards the y axis which you can say 3j also right so three unit you are moving in y axis and two unit you are moving in y axis so position vector op or simply you can say r is 2i plus 3j all right and here this 2i is actually the x component and this 3j is the y component. So whenever we are writing a vector in this way, uh, with with a with a fixed thing, you know, like uh, fixed things that like as an origin, then that time that 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 op line uh, directed line segment, all right, this op directed line segment is our uh, the position vector, all right. Similarly, if you have another point, you may have this is point q. So that time this oq, you know this oq will be the position vector of q similarly here as it is p is the similarly if you have let's say this is r then this or is the position vector of this point r similarly if you have let's say this is t point then ot is the position vector you know this ot is the position vector of this t all right and how to write you know that you need to write uh, as the sum of the x component and the y component if you have if you're dealing with the 3d then you need to write the z component also right maybe some some k all right so we're not talking about now 3d let's first understand in 2d and then we'll later talk about this three dimensional uh, geometry and position vectors and all stuff in 3d all 